Abbott's ID Now is a powerful point-of-care molecular instrument that is ideally suited for use on the front lines, near where the patient shows up for care. Because some of our customers are new and may be using ID Now for the first time, we want them to know that ID Now is safe when following the proper sample handling and processing techniques. And for our customers who have been using ID Now for years for flu, strep, and RSV testing, this video could help to serve as a helpful refresher. In many cases, a healthcare professional will enter an examination room and perform the ID Now sampling procedure, either a nasal swab, a nasopharyngeal swab, or a throat swab. The healthcare professional should take special care to use sterile technique, which is always critical when collecting and handling samples. If the ID Now instrument isn't in close proximity to where the patient's sample was collected, then the healthcare professional can take the sample and return the swab to its package for transport. When returning the swab to its packaging, the healthcare professional should make sure that the swab's head comes into contact only with the lower portion of the packaging. This means avoiding touching the outside of the wrapper with the swab. The swab can also be placed into a conical tube for storage and transport. Direct nasal, throat, or nasopharyngeal swabs should be tested as soon as possible after collection. If immediate testing is not possible, the direct swab specimen can be held in its original package at room temperature between 15 and 30 degrees Celsius or 59 to 86 degrees Fahrenheit for up to two hours prior to testing. If a direct swab specimen will be held longer than two hours, it must be refrigerated at between 2 and 8 degrees Celsius or 35 to 46 degrees Fahrenheit and tested within 24 hours from the time of sample collection. The swab should never be stored in viral transport media or any other solution that dilutes the sample. The specimen is then transported to the ID Now instrument. First, the operator puts on a clean pair of gloves. The operator then selects Run Test, then selects the required test. When the prompt appears, the operator enters the patient ID. When prompted, the operator opens the instrument lid and tears open pouch number one, which contains the orange test base. You'll notice that the orange test base has a QR code on the back. The orange test base is placed into the ID Now instrument. At that point, the instrument will illuminate in order to scan the QR code. This confirms that the correct cartridge is being placed into the instrument. If the wrong cartridge is inserted, for example, a flu cartridge instead of a COVID-19 cartridge, the test cannot be run. This protects against operator error and guarantees that the right test is being performed every time. The operator then opens pouch number two, which contains two components, a blue sample receiver and a white sample transfer cartridge. The blue sample receiver is placed in the ID Now instrument. After a brief warm up, the foil seal is removed from the blue sample receiver. The swab that was collected from the patient is placed into the blue sample receiver containing liquid chemicals, is mixed for 10 seconds, and then is discarded into a biohazard container. When the operator is mixing the swab into the liquid solution, the virus does not survive. That's because the solution in the sample receiver is acidic with a pH of 2.0, includes a detergent, and the sample receiver is heated. This combination of chemicals and heat inactivates the virus. As an additional safety precaution, Abbott has engineered the sample receiver to be only one quarter full of liquid. This eliminates the risk of splashing the liquid solution when mixing the swab, when used according to the instructions. To ensure operator safety, 
Abbott has performed testing and shown that the instrument can be used for an eight-hour shift without contaminating the instrument, the operator, or the workspace around the IDNOW instrument. This means that when sterile technique is used, operators can use IDNOW safely and confidently. Even so, a test operator can still always clean the instrument and the area around it as often as they feel comfortable, or in line with guidance by the healthcare provider. The operator then uses two hands to press the white sample transfer cartridge into the blue sample receiver. The orange indicator on the transfer cartridge will rise. The white transfer cartridge is then removed from the blue sample receiver and attached to the orange test base. A series of clicks will be heard and the orange indicator descends back to its starting position. Once the ID now lid is closed, the test automatically starts to run. As a best practice, remove gloves after handling samples. In a matter of minutes, a sample result is received. The operator then puts a new set of gloves on. After the test process is complete, the lid is opened. The operator starts the disposal process by attaching the white transfer cartridge and orange test base to the blue sample receiver. The operator then closes the IDNOW lid and discards the test components and gloves into the biohazard container. The operator should hold the receiver in one gloved hand and remove the glove so that it envelops the test components in the used glove. The operator can clean the IDNOW instrument and surrounding area using 70% ethanol or isopropanol as available in commercial wipes or on a damp lint-free cloth, or use 10% bleach on a damp lint-free cloth. As the fastest molecular point-of-care rapid test available today, ID Now is delivering reliable results where the patient shows up for care and is helping to reduce the risk of infection in society by detecting more positive results than would otherwise be found. For more information, you can visit our websites or contact your Abbott account representative.